All right, so in the recent post, I featured this interaction. So I got a lot of questions about how I built that. So let's review the interaction. Uh, I built it in PowerPoint, so we'll review what it looks like in PowerPoint. Then I'll actually walk through a few uh, steps that will help you build your own. So the uh, first thing is the way the interaction structured is it's a single image. So the idea is that I can click on a panel uh, and then I get some information here. So I click, get some information, click, get some information. What you'll notice is uh, what's persistent is the black and white image, uh, the numbering, and the uh, text area. Now the text is going to change based on uh, what I'm clicking on, right? So um, that's that's going to change. But for the most part, the black and white image, the numbering, and this text area is persistent. So let's see how we built that in PowerPoint. So if I come to PowerPoint, uh, what I have is um, my course structure here. And um, if we look through that, now I have the black and white or I have the color image on top. So let me go to the selection pane. So I'm going to go to Home, Select, and Selection Pane. The selection pane is going to allow us to see what's on that slide. So there's the color picture. So I'm going to hide that. So uh, this right here, everything that you see here outside of this, these text boxes, this is all persistent regardless of the slide I'm on, whether I'm on 1, 6, 3, really doesn't matter. Uh, so the black and white, uh, area here is persistent. The content box here is persistent with the title and then these numbering elements are persistent. The other thing is I need to be able to jump back and forth so I need to have the hyperlinking be persistent. So if I'm on slide one I want these to link to any one of the other slides and the same thing if I'm on four I want to be able to link to the other slides. So to allow all that persistent content to show through every slide I built that on the uh, slide master. So if you go to view slide master, uh, you'll notice now I got rid of all the other uh, master layouts so you, it's not cluttered up. But if we actually look at the slide master, uh, what we have is we've got our black and white image, that's this right here. Uh, we've got our whiteboard, which is this area here with the text box. And then I've got my numbering, so that's what these are the numbers. So it's basically just a number with a little pie shape. And then uh, what you can't see, but I have titled here, is these these are the little hyperlink shapes. So these are uh, transparent shapes that hyperlink to specific slides. So in this case, this is going to hyperlink to slide one or panel one. This will hyperlink to panel two, panel three, and um, and then we also have the hyperlink to the main. So the what happens then is when we're on a slide, I can click on a slide it's going to hyperlink to those slides. Now what is different is on each slide you can see the colored box. So basically what I did was I have the color pick as a starting point and then uh, when I go to a slide I'm going to um, crop it so that this only this part of the image is showing so only the panel uh, part of the image is showing. So I'll uh, do a tutorial here next that shows you how to actually do that in PowerPoint. But that's the structure of it. And you'll have the PowerPoint file you can download and then play around with that yourself.